light a cigarette, throw that shit like it's Heather's and walk out. So do you guys believe in a soul? I work for the NYPD, so you know. They... No way. El, y your final take on that? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Damn. Uh, so you seen Attack on Titan? What's going on, y'all? My name is Hire, and welcome back to my channel, Hire Video. Now, today we are exploring the biggest question when it comes to human nature are we born evil or do we become evil? I thought it'd be best to construct this answer going through four guiding questions. The first one being How many times did you cheat on me? I, I wasn't counting. <laughs> I have a friend, he told me that he killed his family and he even sent me pictures. Ace Ballo and her husband Chad Daybell Feather are accused of killing her children. The bodies of seven-year-old J.J. Vallow and Rose Birch had a blood alcohol content of 0.49. The blue, they should have a purple collar, or attempting CPR. I don't think anyone realized how intoxicated Dina you know, actually was. Rate yourself on how evil you would say you are. One being a playground bully, ten being like Hitler in Germany type stuff. I'm Zoea. Ariana. I'm Eva. Hi, nice to meet you all. Uh, my name is Areti. Nice to meet you, Areti. I'm Julia. Julia. I'm Lai. Lai. What kind of name is that? <laughs> is it Lau? No, it's one. You want to be in the interview? Hi, right, that, that, that. All right, man. What's your name? What's your name? Leaflin. Nice to Leaflin. meet you. Leaflin. My name is Philip. Nice to meet you. Philip. Yes, sir. Sam. Sam. All right. Uh, my name is Woody. Nice to meet you, Woody. My name is Malachi. Malachi. Oh, my name is Brenda. Huh? Brenda. 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 Brendan. What to eat? Hey. Uh, my name is Suchet. Suchet. Nice yeah. to meet you. How evil would you say you are? Um, I'd say I'm a three. What would you say you are? One to ten. I'm a calm three. I'm just not mean to people. Like, but why not a zero if you're not mean to people? I feel like <laughs> <laughs> if you're mean, like I'll only be mean if like the energy is like reciprocated from the other side. I would say one. I don't think I'm evil. Um, if she's a three, I'm like a five or six. Dang. Okay, nah. <laughs> you know, I'm not mean unintentionally, mm -hmm. but when it comes to reciprocating, bitch, I'm on. You do take it. it there. I'm on do it. I yeah. got you. I like got if you. You burn my house down. I'm, <laughs> I'm burning you. Light a cigarette, throw that shit like it's Heather's, and walk out. I'm gonna say I'm a three. You know, I like to think about others' emotions and make sure that they're okay. Five. Okay. I'm good. Ooh. I'm good with like people that I like. The people that I don't like, mm -hmm. I could make their life miserable. So that's valid. I do want to say that yeah, I was really hard on myself. I'm not a five. I'm probably <laughs> like around two and a half. Yeah, I don't think you're a five. Yeah. I um, I think I'm a point five. Oh. Okay. Because like I think I could never hurt anyone intentionally like that. Six. Why six? Yeah, that's high. <laughs> really? <laughs> Most no. people say like three or two. Oh, okay. <laughs> why is, oh no, why'd you say six though? I could do some devious things to people. I would say zero. I don't like, I don't like bully people. Oh, that's bold. So that's if bold. I burn down your house, you wouldn't burn down mine. No. If I stepped on your shoe, would you step on mine? Wow, nice okay. You're stepping, on these, you're stepping on these shoes, that would bother me. That's valid, that's valid. <laughs> <laughs> I say about a four, personally, because like I like to be as nice as I can to people, um, be genuine with everybody, but like at the same time, if somebody do be wrong, I know how to get them back. But there's a limit to how far you're going retaliation. Yeah, yeah. Like if I'm I burn a, down your house, you're not gonna burn mine down. No. But if I definitely. stepped on your shoes, you'd step on them. I'd probably kick you. Oh, dang. But yeah. That's <laughs> escalating it, but okay. I'm like a, I'm like a two. two and a half. Yeah. <laughs> Five. Five. Okay, any, any explanation for that? Duality. Now, I would rank myself on a scale from one to 10, how evil am I? If I were to die at any moment, would I go before God with no worries on my heart? And that is the place I feel like I am at today. I would say that I'm a four. But the fact that I asked other people to rank themselves and the majority of them said a two or a three, like asking somebody how evil they are is definitely not a good way to gauge how evil they are. Second question, why is it that other people, if I'm not an eight or nine or a 10 myself, why is it that other people reach these higher levels of eight or nine or 10? 
I would say that a seven is the highest you can go before you cross the line into what I consider crimes against humanity, which involves seriously violating another person's right to their own body. That's when you're assaulting and taking life and seriously maiming, or you know, like straight up eradicating ethnicities off the face of the planet. Question number two. Why do you think some people end up being like eights, nines, and tens, like mm. traffickers, slavery, Putin? Trauma. Trauma? Trauma, yeah. So you think something had to happen in their yeah. life? Yeah. Yeah. Something think, evil yeah. had to happen to them. Mm. Exactly. exactly. I feel I like, because I've been watching a lot of serial killer, like, I'm podcasts not going to lie. I watched a lot stuff. of that before I started yeah. this. So I feel like that's kind of like the theme, right? Like abuse in the household mm. or like they kind of saw people. Um, like a reflection of their own environment type shit. Honestly, it depends how you grew up, with who you grew up with, and your values. You know, I'm a big believer in your environment shapes who you are. I mean, some people are genetically predisposed to being like worse than other people, but I feel like... What do you mean genetically predisposed? Well, I mean, obviously people's personalities are based on genetics. You're 50% nature, 50% nurture. So, so do you believe in a soul? I think like, if you think of it in a different way, in like a sort of biological way, if you like do scientifically, okay, I think like... Okay, that's the literal opposite of a spiritual soul. If you think of it in a biological way. Yeah, but if you're saying like, a spiritual soul like, is like do you someone's think when you die, when your body dies, that you die and there's nothing left of you? Yeah. Okay, that's valid. Okay, I, th I think there's a soul that comes out of that. I agree. Yeah. But you know, everybody's got their opinions. Of course. I haven't thought about this that much, but the amount that I've thought about, I'm a really strong believer in uh, nature versus nurture. Okay. So I think uh, the way that these people have been raised, um, children adapt a lot to how they've been raised, what they mm -hmm. see around them. And I think... Uh, that's really where it comes so from. So you think you get exposed to evil stuff, you end up doing evil stuff. I feel like it's environment, like where okay. you're raised or like where you stay, like where you live. I'd say not necessarily. And what do you think the other part is? Just you, it's just yeah. like, just Some the Some people person. are just like that. Yeah. Like your brain chemistry. Yeah. Mm. So do you guys believe in a soul? Like a spiritual yeah, soul? I, yeah. Okay, okay. People they experience and things that they've seen kind of desensitize them to any kind of pain or something. There are people who have slaughtered literally their entire household. Oh my god. Um, they're just bad people, honestly. What do I you mean, mean bad people? But why? Like, I mean, I'm not trying to say like they're bad, like they were born that way, but like they've just been through things that made them evil. What do you think? Um, greed. Greed? Okay. Yeah. We act like evilness is something that you have to go through horrible things in order to unlock inside of yourself rather than viewing it as an innate characteristic of being a person. And I pose people with the perspective that being good is something that we have to go through experiences in order to unlock because by default, we're going to do what's in our best interest. By default, we're going to let our anger take over. By default, we're going to let our sadness and our jealousy cause us to do bad or evil things. Because I used to think that, and I think that's the way society pitches it to us. But the more I realize just in how I grew as a person, I feel like it takes effort to be good and it doesn't take effort to be bad. That's valid. And I find that when you really look at the most evil people in history, like Hitler, you find that these people, a lot of the times, they don't care. That's what makes them evil. It's not that they hate people. It's just that they don't give a fuck. Bye. I was just freaking out and it just went into mama and I'm like, I've got to go to get JJ to school, I've got to get to the kids. I just felt like, i got to get to the kids. Mm -hmm. On January 25th, 2020, local authorities located Chad Daybell and Lori Vallow in Hawaii and served Lori with a court order requiring her to produce the children within five days. And when she missed the court order deadline to produce JJ and Tylee, she was arrested and charged with two felony counts of desertion and non-support of dependent children. Investigators obtained a search warrant on Chad's property in Salem, Ohio. Detectives noticed certain parts of the backyard had patch marks as if holes had just been patched up. What they found shocked them. Just northeast of the small pond, detectives found the remains of JJ. Just as investigators began to process this discovery, the remains of Tylee were found buried at the pet cemetery that Chad had designated the area as. CSI reports showed that Tylee's body was dismembered and partially burned while JJ's body was wrapped in black plastic bags and secured with duct tape. Both Lori and Chad were charged with the murders of Tamara Daybell, Tylee Ryan, and JJ Vallow. And only a month later, Lori was charged with conspiracy to commit murder in the death of her ex-husband, Charles Vallow. 
As of today, the prosecution have announced that they are seeking the death penalty for Chad while Lori has been found to be incompetent based on the progress report from a mental health facility. Her next hearing will take place in March of 2022. With that, we'll be in recess. It's like they want to do the thing that's gonna benefit them the most. There was this one white suburbia lady, she was like a Latter-day Saint. You know, typical yes. suburbia, you saw it? It was like the one, them. she had a boyfriend yes. and then the two kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's basically, crazy. this lady, she set up her ex-husband to get killed with mm -hmm. her and her new nigga yes. while her own kids were in the, in the house. house. Later on, only to kill her two kids because yeah. she didn't care about yep, them. Yep, yep. Mind you, her new guy also had an ex-wife, got her killed, yep. buried them at her houses, and then like went on living her life and was telling people, oh, my kids are at boarding school, mm -hmm. they're staying with a cousin. And then one day she finally got caught up with everything. Even like Casey Anthony, same thing. Like mm. with the little girl. And she was like, I don't want this fucking kid. I just want to um, take some PCP and live a fucking life, bro. Exactly. And then like, so they were like, um, they were like, every time the family would ask like, oh, where's your daughter? She'd be like, oh, she's with the nanny. She said, mm, Zanny, the nanny. And I just <laughs> feel like that's out of pocket. And be like, yeah. you don't care. Like, Complete apathy. I, I work for the NYPD, so you know. They, no way. Yeah. So like New York City Police. New York City Police. And, and you know, you talk to the detectives who interrogate these people and these detectives their first approach is to treat you like a friend to get you to tell you the truth you know and, and, and you know these serial killers come from a place where they believe they're right but i think when you get like to the eights the nines like really crimes against humanity like psychopath. Mm -hmm. Psychopath. Think genetic. You think genetic, not even like, genetic. I think we all have that capability because all you have to do is not care. I have the opposite nature versus nurture where I feel like think, by nature we're think, evil you and think we have to. Genetically, we're, we're more evil than we are. Well, nurture. I believe in a soul, so I wouldn't say genetically. So you think but from your point of view, genetically. You think yeah. naturally we're evil people. Yeah, and I think. And that we have to become good. Yeah, so we have to be taught, start off as like, socialized. So you think most people start off as like five? But, but that's true. They, and they go back to like zero. No, I think you start off with the capability for 10 because you think animals are grown in isolation they're feral they're wild don't approach an animal that's never been socialized around people same thing with like racism and slavery is like there is no way those slave owners believe like oh these people are less than human they could never be like us because like if a dog can recognize another dog is just like them of course humans can do the same thing it's like i feel like it's hey, <laughs> be careful be careful I would hate to have to go up to an Dude, eight right now. Don't even worry. I would like, <laughs> you know, like save the day. Don't worry. But yeah, like being kind in general, I feel like it's not something like, it's not difficult. If like people are good to you. But let's say you're starving, hungry, you're homeless, got no money, and you see like a 10 year old walking down the street with a $50,000 cash inside of a basket. You're gonna rob the 10 year old kid? No consequences, no one's around to see you. You could I would de definitely rob the kid. Right? <laughs> so like, it would take a lot for you not to be bad in that situation. Why would we not want to rob a bank for a million dollars right now? Honestly, like, I would say I agree because empathy is something that I personally wasn't like raised to, you know what I'm saying, be aware of. Um, I'm not saying I'm evil first and like that. But nah, like, but I, it takes effort to have right, empathy. Right, it, it does take effort and you have to actively try. And if you don't have any, it's okay to seek help to get, you know what I'm saying, to gain some. And that's what I'm doing right now personally. Do you feel like you have to exert yourself to be good? Or do you feel like, nah, you are naturally good and things have to happen for you to be bad? I feel like you're naturally good. I don't think you have to do anything bad. Then why the hell are you a seven? <laughs> oh, well, maybe, maybe I changed my mind. Maybe I'm more like a three now. <laughs> okay. El, y your Brandon. final take on that? <laughs> what was that? Damn. Uh, so, do any of y'all watch anime? Yeah. No. Dang. See, you a real one. Yeah. This is why you a six. Nah. All right. Um. So you seen Attack on Titan? Some episodes, yeah. Do you mind if I spoil it for you for this question? Sure. Guys, I'm going to explain the premise of this show to you, uh, come in a little closer, and I just want you guys to tell me whether the main character is right or wrong for what he did. So the main character's name is Aaron Yeager. The show starts with this huge monster called the Titan, literally tearing up his city, eating his mom alive. It was a bunch of Titans who did it. And so the huge, the entire human race is on one island, and they're being terrorized by these Titan monsters. Come to find out, 
that they're actually a special race of people called subjects of Ymir. And the entire world that they thought was eradicated actually still exists. And they all hate the people on the island because the people on the island are the ones who turn into those monsters. And for 1500 years before they went on that island, they terrorized and ruled the world with the power of the Titans. But now it's in a place where everyone in the world is scared of that happening again. So they want to kill everybody on the island. But the main character, Aaron Yeager, has he obtained this ultimate Titan power where now he by himself can wipe out literally everybody in the world except for his island people. So it's either he kills all of everybody in the entire world or he lets everybody in the entire world kill him and all his people. Is Aaron wrong for choosing to exterminate the world's population? <laughs> I mean, I've gone back and forth with this, so I really don't. I want y'all, before y'all leave, give me one definitive answer with just like a quick one-liner on why. Mm -hmm. Would you support Aaron or would you be like, nah, we should all die and let the world live because we did do bad stuff in the past? Oh, if it was me, y'all not about to kill me. Hey! Shit, <laughs> y'all not about to kill me. The rumblings happen. Absolutely, I'm, I'm staying alive. Got you. No, I like the Bee Gees, I'm staying alive. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. I don't know. I yeah. honestly yeah. don't know, but I'm going to start it up. But I will give y'all an easy cop out for the I don't knows. Is that not a cop out, cop out, but one of the characters came up with this plan that was like, okay, so we'll, we'll euthanize everyone so our people can't reproduce, so we don't have to kill any of us, but our race will eventually die and the world can live in peace. Would y'all support that euthanization I plan? I feel like it's giving like climate change. Like recently, <laughs> like how people are like, um, we don't want to have kids because climate change, and we don't want that. Which is like yeah, so yeah. I feel like, yeah, it's giving that. So that's maybe, respectable. Yeah. I guess we really is higher up on the evil scale because yeah. I'm kill the whole world to save us. I'm not dying. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for doing these yeah, interviews. I appreciate y'all. He's decided we're about to wipe out the entire world to save our island. Okay. Do y'all think he's right or not? You know, it, it really depends. Um, when you wield such power, it's a lot of responsibility. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot to take into consideration. You and know, it's also a survival situation. It's a survival, you are us. Because the world will kill them. But honestly, in that situation, it's very complicated. I don't think I'm gonna answer that. I can't answer that question. That's um, valid. It's valid to say that you kind of on the fence don't know. I'm on the fence. So you're saying these people don't turn into Titans yet? Like they, well, they can. They're but the only, they haven't. So they post that threat. But no, a lot of them have. A lot of them have though. That's why Aaron's destroying the world because he has turned into that ultimate Titan. So then I think like it's hard it's, from his perspective. I think like he wants to save his own people. He's probably been around those people his entire life, so he wants them to like thrive. So is but, he wrong for choosing to kill the world to save himself and his people? Like we say that murder and self-defense is okay in the court true. of law. That is, that and that's is exactly true. where he's at. It's self-defense. I appreciate you guys for your interview. Thank, thank you. you. So much, man. Thank you so yeah. Much. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. We were about to literally exterminate the world's population. I think that is wrong, man. And how come? Could you just one more? Um, because he's putting his self-interest above the majority. Okay. And what do you think? Dude, it's kind of complicated, but like genocide is just a little bit too far in my opinion. I mean, genocide's about to happen either way. True, like he's already gone through like, you know that place where Gabby and them are from? If you watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Marley. Marley, Marley, Marley. Okay, I knew the term with M. Sometimes I'm just so <laughs> into it, I'm like, fuck the names. Who I cares? mean, I, re I watched it twice, so like my memory's fresh. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Okay, yeah. So he's like already demolished like half of the continent by I this mean, point yeah, he, he, so it's like eh. <laughs> but like uh, I guess like his friends are trying to save him and reach reach out to him and be like hey this is wrong which I think is a point of evidence that can be like your friends who deeply care about you are telling you hey like stop it it's not just us it's like the whole world yeah you could say it's noble to sacrifice your entire race of people and save the world but then it's like what does that get us is world peace suddenly going to be achieved will conflict suddenly be erased will bad vibes and bad energy suddenly go away no it's like there is nothing that justifies the entire world population living versus the entire LDN people. It's literally just a numbers game. I'm 100% a Jaegerist, I have to say. That's all I got for y'all today. Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video and I'll catch y'all next time.